hallway to Discipulia Discipuli. Today we're going to learn information that we can use as the fifth part, the fifth and final part of our conversations. So there's a lot going on with this one. There's a lot of new vocabulary. I'm going to be asking you to repeat after me. And sometimes I'll ask you to point. Uh, we'll do what we can to use hand gestures in the classroom. That's much easier. Not so easy here, but we'll do what we can. So we're going to be talking about what it's like outside. So let's talk about long periods. There are quatuor tempora ani. So everybody hold up four fingers and say quatuor. Good. That is like the uh, words you learned in French and Spanish. It is three syllables long. Everybody four fingers up and say it quatuor. So there are quatuor tempora ani. You see them in the corners. Right now it is where. Everybody say it where. Remember that V always makes a W sound, that long E makes the A sound. So again, everybody, where? Next one, when it's really warm out, everybody, istas. So when you don't go to school, everyone, istas. After that, we have autumnus. Autumnus. Notice if you drop the U.S., you get our English word. That's why English has a silent N, but you'll notice in Latin it is not silent. Autumnus. You do say it. And the coldest one, everybody, hiems. Hiems. All right, so those are the quatuor tempora ani. Each one is about three months long. That's the equivalent to your climate that you were learning in social studies. So let's learn a few outdoorsy words. We're going to need those for our next set. Uh, so everybody point up and say kylum. So everything above your head when you're outside, that is the kylum. In fact, even when you're inside, the chylum, although we call it the ceiling, is right above you. And everything under your feet, everybody point down and say terra. So everything under your feet is called terra. So point up, the blue area, chylum. Point down, the green area, terra. Chylum et terra. So let's talk about a few things that you find in chylo, this bright, shiny thing right here. Everybody say soul. Say it again, soul. White fluffy thing, new base. New base. Inside the balloon, not the balloon, but inside. You've got your invisible stuff oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide. Everybody say ah air. It is two syllables long. Everybody say it ah air. Great. Everybody, once again, soul. New base. Ah air. Point up. Kylum. All right, so let's talk about some things that are in Terra. Everybody point down and say Terra. So you got these colorful things right here. Everybody say Flores. Flores. You've got the green stuff right here. Everybody Herba. Herba. You have this big tall guy right here. Everybody Arbor. Arbor. And all those little things you see on the Arbor, each one, everybody is called Folium. Folium. Now put up two fingers so we can learn the plural and say folia, folia. And yes, that is where we get our word foliage. All right. So once again, everybody, flores, herba, arbor. Let's use the plural folia. And everybody point down, terra. Some things you might need to know outdoors. So we already talked about the quatuor tempora ani. A tempest is three months long. The tempestas is what it's like on a daily or even maybe a part of a day basis. So think back to your science when you learned about climate and weather. Everybody say this word, tempestas. And you can see it is related to tempest. Tempestas. All right, so let's talk about this one first. You see the bright, uh, shiny thing in the sky. Once again, that is soul. All of these lines coming out of it, that is the action luket. So everybody say soul luket. Soul Luket. Now, everything I'm going to do now is a sentence. And in order to have a sentence, you have uh, you need to have a verb. And in Latin, the verbs tend to end with T. Even when we said mihi per gratum est te convenira, you had that T word in there, uh, est. So with soul Luket, there's that T. Luket is what the soul is doing. All right. Now, you could also just say soul in chylo est. There's the soul. The blue stuff is the chylum and gives us a location. So everybody point up and say soul in chylo est. 
Those are two ways of saying that. Sol lucet, that's what it's doing. Sol in Kylo S, that's where it's at. Now, if you got to wear sunglasses because there's so much lucet going on, you could say Luki desest. So everybody say that, Luki desest. Now, for those of you that have been watching my TikTok weather reports, you've heard a lot of these already. So from here on out, really pay attention to those weather reports because that's going to reinforce this vocabulary. Sol Luket, Sol in Kylo S, Luki desest. Now, let's talk about those white fluffy things. Everybody say new base. Well, if the Kylum is covered with new base, you can say new base in Kylo Sunt. Everybody say that? New base in Kylo Sunt. It's like saying Sol in Kylo Est, although Est just means there's one soul. There's a whole lot of new base there, so I'm going to use Sunt instead. Sunt is just the plural of Est. And when there's a lot of it, you can say Nubilosis Est. Everybody say that? Nubilosis Est. Whenever you see this suffix osis, it means there's a whole lot of something. Nubilosis means there's a whole lot of new base. It's like the O-U-S suffix in English. If you see O-U-S on the end of the word, it means there's a ton of something. And when it's nubilosis out, the soul tends to be blocked. So you could say soul non lucet. Soul lucet is false here. You and I know it's behind the new base doing its job, but it's not really helping us out too much. So you could say soul non lucet. All right. So when there are new base in Kylo, they are full of aqua. And every once in a while, that aqua tends to fall out of the new base. Aqua that falls out of the new base is called pluia. Everybody say that pluia. You see the woman there with the umbrella trying to block the pluia. Now, simplest way to say that there's pluia coming out of the new base is one word. Everybody say it, pluit. Notice it ends with a T. That means it's the action word. If I say pluit, that's what's happening outside. Everybody say it again, pluit. All right. Now, the pluit starts in the chylum. The pluit, the pluia starts in the new base. So another way I could say that is I could use this verb codit, which is all about gravity. Codit says things start in the chylum and finish in the terra. So it's that one-way ticket downward. And you could use this helping word day. Everybody say that, day. Day also means downward. When you descend, you're always going down, never up. So the simplest way to say it's like this is pluit. But perhaps you want to say it differently. Pluia de Kylo Cadet. So everybody after me, Pluia de Kylo Cadet. Similarly, instead of Kylo, I can use Nubibus. So Pluia de Nubibus Cadet. Everybody repeat. Pluia de Nubibus Cadet. All right. So every once in a while, it gets cold enough outside that the Pluia freezes. And frozen pluia is this white stuff called nix. Everybody say that, nix. And when there's a whole lot of nix, either in the sky or on the ground, you can say nuosis est. Everybody say nuosis est. All right, that's like nubilosis est. There's that osis that means there's a ton of it. All right, so just how pluia had the verb pluit, well, nix... The noun has the verb ningit. Everybody say that, ningit. Ningit has the T, means it's the action word. Just means that there's nix out there, just like there's pluia out there with pluit. Similarly, nix starts in the chylum. It starts in the new base. So I can use my gravity verb, caught it. I can use my helping word, day, that means downish. I can descend, and I can say nix day chylo caught it. Everybody repeat that one, nix de kylo caught it, or nix de nubibus caught it. Everybody repeat that one, nix de nubibus caught it. So lots of ways to talk about when it's all white and fluffy outside. So it's called nix, but the four sentences are ningit, nevosis est, nix de kylo caught it, nix de nubibus caught it. All right, so we got different kinds of aqua. Now, Let's talk about that ah air. Remember that invisible stuff, oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, ah air? Well, when the ah air moves, it's called wentus. 
So everybody make a noise like this and say the word Wentis. Wentis. There you go. So Wentis is the name of ah air when it is in motion. Two sentences that we got for this one. The first one is Wentis flat. Everybody say that, Wentis flat. Now, if you want ah air to be in a balloon, you have to inflate the balloon. In other words, you flat in the balloon, inflate the balloon, and that's how you get ah air inside of it. So if the ah air is in motion, you get this uh, sentence, sentence, wentis flat. Now, if there's a lot of it, you know, like it's blowing around these uh, old ladies here, you can use that osis suffix again. That means there's a lot. We saw nubilosis. We saw nivosis. Now we're seeing wentosis s. So everybody say that, wentosis s. So again, when the ah air is in motion, you have wentis, two sentences, wentis flat, wentosis s. All right. So this is kind of the opposite of the last several we talked about. For this one, I like to put my hands out kind of straight, almost like I'm trying to calm someone down. Hold on now. And in a very calm voice, I say, tranquilis est. Everybody repeat that one. Tranquilis est. Now, I looked up the word tranquilis in Google, and these three pictures came up. You'll notice that it's not cloudy. The water is so still, you can see a reflection in it. Over here, the waves aren't really crashing. There's no rain, there's no snow. It's very peaceful, it's very serene. Everybody say it again, tranquilis est. All right, sometimes it's like that. Now, the opposite of tranquilis est is this one. Everybody say turbidus est. Turbidus is the exact opposite of tranquilis. It's when you get wentus. It's when you get pluia. Sometimes you get nix. And sometimes it gets so bad that you get this bright, shiny flash. Everybody say full men. Full men in Kylo S. It's bright like the soul, but it happens in a quick flash. And when it does that, it breaks the sound barrier and it makes a noise. Everybody say ba boom. That noise is called tonitrus. Everybody say tonitrus. And when the tonitrus does that action, it does the action sonat. So everybody say tonitrus sonat. Again, repeat it. Tonitrus sonat. Ba 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 boom. So the opposite of tranquilis is turbidus. When it's turbidus, there is wentus, there is fulmen, there is tonitrus. The spinny thing right here is called a turbo. In fact, we had a turbo watch just a few days ago. If you were watching my TikTok weather reports, you saw that. Turbidus s, the opposite of tranquilis s. Now, last thing we want to talk about. We talk about the tempest, three months long. We talk about the tempestas, what it's like for a day or part of a day. Now we're going to talk about the temperatura, how much heat there is in the air and in the ground. Temperatura. So let's start in the upper left-hand corner. Everybody say the word frigate. Notice that's a verb. It means that's what it's doing outside, frigate. Now another way you could say that is to use an adjective, frigidus, and put that with the verb s. So everybody say frigidus est. So you got to grab your shoulders, pretend you're shivering. Everybody say frigidus est. Frigate. All right. Now I like to use the color blue for that. Because if I go to my faucet and I go to the blue one and turn it on, the water is not too hot. It's frigidus. Well, anyway, the opposite of frigidus is calidus. So that's this one over here. So I could say calidus est. So everybody pretend you're sweating, pretend you're fanning yourself. You're like this dude right here with the sweatles coming off of him. Say it again, everybody, calidus est. Now, you can do that in one word. You can say calet. Everybody repeat that. Calet. So that's exactly like frigate. It's actually where Spanish gets the word caliente. If you remember your Spanish word caliente. I like to use red for that because again, when I go to my faucet and I turn the red one, the uh, aqua is so calida that I almost burn myself. Now, if it's somewhere in the middle, it's not frigidus, it's not calidus, it's what we call over here tepidus. And we're going to get a lot of this when it's where, right? A lot of this when it's where. So everybody say tepidus est. 
Tepidus est. Now, since Frigidus is blue and Calidus is red and Tepidus is somewhere in between, blue and red make purple, so I'm using purple as my uh, final color there. All right, and that was our final slide. So we did the Tempest, three months long. We did a few things that you find in Kylo and in Terra, because we're going to talk about those. We talked about all the different kind of Tempest sauce that you might find on a daily basis, and we talked briefly about the Temperatura. Now, when you're having a conversation, you can always slip this information in. A lot of people do. Uh, so we're going to be practicing, practicing this for hopefully about the next five classes, and then we'll be ready to move on to a new topic. So go back through this video. Look at the pictures, say the words out loud. If there's any hand gestures, try to use them. If I didn't give you hand gestures, make them up, all right? Anytime you can act or point when you're saying a word, you're more likely to remember that word. All right, I better end this video. Waleta, discipuli, discipuli.